and quickly. James Henson, director of the Texas Politics Project, is with us now. Uh, it sounds kind of wild to declare an invasion. If you've ever been down there and spent time on the border, you realize it's kind of what it looks like uh, and feels like. All that irrespective, how much of declaring an invasion is political and how much of it actually will change policy? Um, hi, Leland. I, I think given where we are right now in Texas and given the context that we've seen, uh, it's hard not to see the declaration of invasion as having very strong political overtones. This comes in Texas after uh, a string of very public efforts by Governor Abbott to draw attention to, to the issue and to take action that was within his authority, at least arguably, and based on Texas as a way of highlighting uh, what is widely understood to be a, a failure of the federal government to effectively address yeah. border hey, you think about it. So we've reported on this. Governor Abbott created Operation Lone Star. $3 billion uh, spent to date. $500 million needed to keep the program going. He's, he's rolling out uh, hundreds of state troopers, thousands of National Guardsmen uh, to try and secure the border. Uh, 240,000 migrant apprehensions, 14,000 criminal arrests. The big problem, of course, for, for Texas is they can't enforce federal immigration law. All they can do is turn the folks over to the Border Patrol, who then, uh, in many cases, allow the people uh, to stay in the United States. Declaring an invasion is going to be challenging the courts, but it changes things how? Well, I think, you know, it changes things in political terms by calling more attention to it. Were, were, this, were this policy to succeed, it would certainly allow the governor to bring more resources to bear, at least theoretically. Um, but I, I see this just really as more uh, with ha having a lot of continuity with what the governor has done before. As you mentioned, the governor has, has drastically, with the cooperation of the legislature, increased border security spending in a way that I, is really unprecedented in the state. Um, and, and it speaks to both the perceived urgency of the problem, uh, not only in the governor's office, but among the governor's voters. Um, Republicans typically tell us over the last decade of polling that for them, the most important problem facing the state are immigration and border security. Yeah. Um, and I think the governor knows that. Yeah, it's interesting you bring it up, James, because uh, where we're headed next is to talk about Ohio and the primaries there. Uh, and interestingly enough, the voters in Ohio are telling folks that the number one issue they have is immigration. Clearly, they are not a border state by any means. Uh, James, James Henson, uh, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. Uh, yeah, good to for see sure. you, too. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.